In Kittle, we have pre-made text layouts and text decorations already ready for you to use, and they're perfect if you're trying to get started making a logo or a label design and you're not quite sure what to do. So I'm going to show you where to find them and how to edit them to your liking. So let's get started. All right, so working with a blank artboard can be pretty daunting sometimes, but maybe you don't want to use an entire template. Well, we already have these text layouts here that I think can really inspire you, really help you out depending on the type of project you're going for. We have a ton of these beautiful vintage layouts that might be great for logos and to use one all you have to do is click on it and then boom it's there on your artboard ready to use. You can click it that way or you can find another one you like and you can drag it over. So you can either click and it pops in or you can drag it over and then once you feel like it's the right size to edit this um, it is all grouped together so you can either double click into the element you want or you can just right click and hit ungroup and then that basically ungroups everything so that you can select the piece that you want. So for example, let's select this text and then I'll just change this to say uh, Cassandra Mills uh, for, for whatever reason. Uh, and then we can click into the monogram, change that to CM, boom, that updates easily just like that. And so in a couple of seconds, you can use these pre-made layouts to get something really, really amazing without having to start completely from scratch on a blank artboard. So maybe we change our colors here. Maybe we want some kind of crazy dark teal with a nice light yellow or something like that. Uh, but we also have these other things that you can add on top. So maybe we want to add this little badge on top. We already have badge pre presets, uh, pre-made templates of badges and labels and things like that. So you don't have to feel like you have to start completely from scratch trying to put other elements and text together. Now, there's another thing I want to show you, which is right here, we also have decorated elements. So if I click show all here in the decorated section, we have a ton of beautiful styles for type already ready to go. So you can see here, there's this kind of circus one with a font that works with this kind of color cut as well as the uh, shadow and things like that. We also have other text layouts that's great for a variety of different things. Uh, we have Victorian ones. We have this one for like slime, which is really creepy. And now, and you could change your font to anything after you click in these decorated presets, you can easily change the font and it will retain the type setting that's on it. So let's get rid of these and let's make a full layout. So now I've put in this one. This is Paris. It's very kind of art deco. Uh, it's like 1920s esque. I really love this uh, type of uh, typography here, but I'm getting inspired to make like a movie night poster. So boom, I've typed in movie. Now let's just duplicate it. You can hit the alter option key and drag. So now I've got night and that already is looking pretty good in just a couple seconds. So now we can go through, uh, change our colors a little bit to find one uh, that we want. Maybe we want to go with a darker scheme, like a darker blue uh, and more kind of movie yellow kind of blockbuster -y type theme, I guess. Uh, and now what we need to do is type in movie so we can find an illustration. I love this film clip here. I think this is going to work nice kind of coming out of the corners here. So I can put that there, come up here, select that same dark blue that we have on the shadow. Then I can duplicate it. Again, alter option key and drag. Turn it so that it makes sense here. I'm just going to move it over here and to the right. And then let's find some popcorn. So let's type in popcorn because of course this is a movie night. Maybe this is a social post or you know a, a full flyer that you might go on to make or something like that. Again, I can come up here, I can change my colors so that they make sense with the color scheme that we've selected here. I'll change this to that brighter orange. I'll size this up just a little bit so that that popcorn is coming out. And so in just a matter of a minute or two, I use those decorated styles to make a full uh, poster design without starting completely from scratch. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.